arthroscopic acetabular rim osteoplasty with labral takedown and resultant labral reattachment begins with the establishment of the anterolateral viewing portal. Using an outside-in fashion under fluoroscopic guidance, a spinal needle is advanced over the anterior border of the greater trochanter into the femoroacetabular joint space while the hip is being distracted. After the physiological vacuum seal of this joint is broken, more distraction is achieved. A flexible nitinol guide wire is placed into the joint through the spinal needle and the needle is removed. A 5 mm dilation sleeve is advanced over the flexible wire to atraumatically dilate the hip capsule. The arthroscope sheath with cannulated trocar is then introduced into the joint over the wire, allowing for introduction of the arthroscope. The anterior portal is then established in an outside-in fashion under direct visualization using a spinal needle. The needle is replaced by a flexible nitinol guide wire so the 5 mm and 7 mm portal dilation sleeves can be used to dilate the hip capsule prior to shaver insertion. The shaver's outer sheath can be easily introduced into the joint over the guide wire by separating it from the inner sheath. Once in the joint and reassembled with its inner sheath and shaver handle, it is used to create a large capsulotomy, making room for instruments to move freely around the hip joint. The open cannula is used to quickly switch from a shaver to a banana blade, required to take down the labrum from the acetabulum. Once the underlying acetabular rim is exposed, a burr is introduced into the joint to remove the bony deformity. Once adequate acetabular reshaping has been achieved, a clear cannula is introduced into the joint over a switching stick to aid in suture management during labral reattachment to the acetabulum. The penetrator suture retriever is utilized to position a number two fiber wire cinch stitch in order to capture the labrum prior to anchor insertion. A hip pushlock spear and drill are then utilized to create a socket for the knotless pushlock anchor. The anchor is then slid down the tails of the cinch stitch and placed into the socket prior to impaction to check tissue tension. Impacting the plunger on the back of the push lock handle advances the anchor into the socket without further tensioning suture tails or tissue. The push lock handle is removed by turning it clockwise six full revolutions while gently pulling back. The remaining suture tails are clipped using a suture cutter. Multiple push lock anchors can be placed in the acetabulum according to the size of the defect.